add one you're welcome to use the data network we shall basically talk about volcanicity today so you're welcome please remember to watch to the end it's very interesting and a very short video and remember to press on the subscribe button for those who have not yet subscribed and remember to also press the notification bell so much that we keep on communicating on geographical aspect now we'll talk about volcanicity in this video and uh, our bone of interest here will be intrusive volcanic features we shall be explaining to you all about the volcanic the intrusive volcanicity and the associated volcanic features which are being produced due to this process so we will begin first of all by looking at the definition of what volcanicity is all about when we talk about volcanicity we are referring to the process whereby solid liquid and gaseous materials from the mantle are being sent out or they are being injected into or extruded onto the earth crust where cooling and solidification occurs to form either intrusive or extrusive uh, landforms therefore from this definition we can actually say here that there are two types of volcanicity which can be distinguished namely we have intrusive as well as extrusive volcanicity since i earlier mentioned that our well, one of content will be on intrusive volcanicity which means we are going to talk much about that and under extrusive volcanicity we'll talk much about that in the next video so what is intrusive volcanicity all about it involves actually the intrusion of magma into the earth crust where it cools and it solidifies now to form what we call intrusive volcanic features which examples we have are like dikes we have the seal we have the batholith we have volcanic necks we have lacodite so we are going to be talking about a little bit about these various landforms we'll actually give you a description of all about them give you an illustration too about them which uh, uh, basically will help you to understand uh, better about volcanicity we'll begin first of all with the first which is a dike a dike actually is a vertical wall of magma which is formed from the certification of this magma within cracks or fractures or fissures of the cross now when an overlaying rock is worn out when an overlaying rock of dike is actually worn out due to denudational processes the dike may be exposed to to form a ridge or a cliff if uh, in case the, the dike is of more resistant than the surrounding rock layers but in case where the, the, the dike is, is less resistant it may actually result to a valley which may be formed in such an area so commonly in in africa here we have uh, a dikes in the jose plateau the jose plateau is found actually in nigeria we also have the uh, uh, dikes which are also found on losoto losoto is found in south africa so we are going to move to the next video which is which is the next uh, uh, feature which is actually uh seal seals are horizontal horizontal or gently inclined layers of magma which happen to solidify in between layers of sedimentary rocks so they are basically different from dikes in that seals are more horizontal or they are gently inclined while uh, 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 dikes are more of vertical natures so when a resistant seal is being exposed along a river valley a cliff may actually develop as on a lane softer rock are eroded faster than the less resistant rock and this may result to the formation actually it may result to the formation of uh, 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 a waterfall because the the, the the seal is going to to provide an uh, an arena for the water to actually plunge in it while the softer the softer uh, 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 sedimentary rock is being worn out to form now a pool where the water actually uh, uh, drops within it or on land masses away from the river actually a silt may result even to the formation of what we call terraces you know since they protrude themselves out of, out from the land they actually uplift the land uh, uh, when most especially when they occur in a, in a gently inclined manner so like, like, like the, the diagram which we have on this video we discover that the silt actually uh, can be engineered to form terraces so as to combat against uh, uh, soil erosion caused by water or by glacier so and last, lastly we are going to talk also about uh, the batholiths batholiths are very huge and high extensive mass of solidified magma with uh, 
steep edges that extend deep into, into the cross. They are most often formed during fold mountain building processes, uh, uh, generally called orogenesis. Now, when the fold mountains are worn out by denudation, after millions of years, the batholiths are also being exposed to form a uh, very broad, broad, uh, broad domed shaped uh, uh, upland or mountains, which are very similar to fold mountains uh, uh, due to the more resistant nature of the rock. So I pray and I'm so glad to be here to talk to you this evening. I hope that you've enjoyed the class. Please remember to subscribe and to share the videos. Let go viral and uh, give your comments at any time. We we'll always appreciate, we we'll always share knowledge together. I love you all. Thank you.